Let's talk about position playing. Now, position playing basically refers to where on the fretboard you're placing your hand. If I'm playing something in this position, one, two, three, I'm playing in third position. If I were playing the same thing in this position, that's the first fret. So now I'm playing in first position. If I were playing in this position, one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm playing in fifth position. So for the most part, if this is fifth, fifth position, that finger would cover the fifth fret, this finger would cover the sixth, and so forth. So we have a four fret span that's covered by the four fingers of the left hand. Um, the only thing is now that you don't cover all of the notes. Within this four fret span, there are other notes that we could reach. So what we're gonna do is we stretch to get those notes. These are called finger stretches. So this is fifth position with a finger stretch. If I were playing something like this, I'm really playing in fifth position with a first finger finger stretch. For that reason, we might actually define position playing as one fret below the fret that is covered by your second finger because you might not even use your first finger. Even though I'm not using my first finger, I'm still playing in fifth position because my first finger is ready to cover any notes that I need to play in fifth position, even if I were playing. Now you might be asking, well, why do I need to learn all of this position playing stuff anyway? Now, the reason for this is really simple. We're going to be moving on to scales. Now, scales, it's important to learn them in various positions. Now, the reason for that is because, let's use the analogy of getting to know the streets in a city. Like, if you get to know this neighborhood, and you get to know this neighborhood really well, and you get to know this neighborhood, then you have a comprehensive knowledge of the entire city versus the one street that goes through all of town. And that's the only way you know to get from point A to point B. So basically what we're gonna do is divide the fretboard into various positions and using that as our foundation, learning this really well, then learning this really well, learning this well, and then eventually we can really seamlessly link them together and move to various parts. And so that's the whole reason for position playing. So to recap, position playing, you might define it by being one fret lower than your second finger, your middle finger on your left hand or fretting hand as you see. So we'll first position, third position, fifth position. Now we're gonna do fifth position with a finger stretch. We're really in that position and we're doing a little stretch. Now we can also stretch with our little finger. This would be second position with a finger stretch. Second position with a finger stretch. So that's all about position playing.